We're here with executive chef James from Eliza Inn's Coastal Kitchen. Hello. What are we doing good today? Good morning. Uh, we're going to do some uh, pecan crusted red snapper. Oh, this sounds good. Yeah, yeah that does. Yeah. All um, right. So let's get started. So what we want to do is build the crust. Okay. So if uh, Linda could just add some ingredients in here, we'll okay. drop some Does pecans. it matter where you start? Nope. Uh, usually all the pecans? Yep, all of them. Okay. Yep. And then we'll add the uh, fresh sage and thyme. Um, the sage and thyme? Yeah. Isn't there a song name? Parsley, sage, rosemary, okay. and thyme. <laughs> oh. A yeah, little nice. drizzle of uh, maple syrup would just be good. Just a drizzle, yeah, not just the whole enough. thing? Nope, not just Tell a, me when to stop. Say I stop. Will. Say stop. There you go, when. Okay. <laughs> uh, a little pinch of salt and pepper. Is that this? Right. Yep, that's that. It's uh, got a little allspice in there as well. Okay, just one pinch. Yeah, just a little pinch. Okay. We don't want our food to be too what salty. What is this? Uh, a little cornstarch to help bind it. The you whole can dump thing? Uh, about half of it or so. It's, wow. Uh, we're going to just eye it up today. Okay, that's half, <laughs> yes. I think. Yes, and then okay. a pinch of black pepper. Good, I'm glad we're not putting this whole thing in. Okay, pinch of black pepper. And that's it, and then we'll pop the lid on. Oh dear, here comes the hard part. Yeah, the hard Make part, right? We just on. turn okay. it on. on. We did it! Here we did it, success. So basically what you want to do is you kind of want to grind this down to a small granular size, which is about there. Oh, we okay. made it. So that looks wonderful. Yes, it does. Okay, and then we have the finished uh, crust right here. This is basically what you're looking for. Um, so the next step is to actually prepare the fish for the crust. So if you don't mind, Linda, if you could put a little mustard on the fish. Oh, so you're going to dredge you with mustard. Yeah, little. so that kind of like is like the glue yeah, to keep the crust on there. Oh, yes. oh so it's got to cover all of it. Correct. Yeah. I never thought about using anything other than egg. That's yeah, a great so idea. So I'm impart some glue. flavor, some yeah. acid. Um, do I so need to put it on the sides? Uh, not really, but you can. But <laughs> let's let's okay. just do it. We'll go with it. Okay. Um, it looks wonderful. So then from that point, okay, yep. Okay. Uh, from there, then what you'll do is you'll take the fish and you'll place it down in the crust. Okay. Want some on the other side? No, we just do it on one, on one, one, on one top. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. So you'll basically start the pan. I like to use a non uh, nonstick. It's a little easier to uh, make sure the fish and the crust come off the pan. Uh, start it on medium-low heat. You don't want this to be too hot because you'll end up burning the nuts on the fish because mm -hmm. they have a high oil content. Oh. Oh, okay. So you want to kind of go slow with it. So you have the crust, you just kind of pack it back down, make sure it um, adheres to the fish, mm. and then you place it into your butter. I predominantly cook with just butter, a little okay. bit of oil. We're a southern style restaurant, mm. so we're not afraid of using butter. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're not a fat-free kind of restaurant space. That's so okay. You're we're gonna not afraid see, of eating it. Yeah, That's so right. you're going to get a lot of, um, you know, a lot of uh, full, full flavored food okay, there. Okay, let's work on the rest of the dish sure. here. What so have we So we have here? the pickled escarole. Oh, it smells good. Um, this is some pickles we make with uh, Hungarian peppers, some uh, sweet peppers. Okay. If we add a little escarole into that, we'll just wilt it down. Okay. All of it? Yep, all of it. Mm -hmm. And then as this gets a little warmer, we'll see it. Uh, Give it a little toss? Yeah, just a little toss. We're just going to fold it in. Basically, at the restaurant, we just kind of lightly wilt it. Okay. Because um, we want to keep the texture of all the vegetables. And then the, what we finish this uh, plate with is a maple brown butter sauce that I make oh with God. a reduction of white wine, Ooh, yummy. Uh, vinegar, lots of aromatics, uh, some browned butter, and some uh, grade A maple syrup. All right, well, I see you have a yep. fish wow. ready to go. Should we do a little plating? Yeah, sure. So basically what we'll do is we'll always start with the sauce on the bottom. Okay. Here, I'm going to put this right here. That's fine. Does that work okay? Yeah, perfect. So we always do a little puddle of sauce in the middle. And then from there we will... Uh, add a little bit. I got a, another spoon handy. Okay. Unless you'd like to. No, go okay. right ahead. It'll look better if you do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so then we place some um, some of the escarole here. Nice colors. Mm -hmm. Very simple food here at uh, Liza Ann's. We try not to, you know, go uh, too technical with food. I think the best food, simple food. So you place the fish on top. It's got a nice upscale presentation that without, is beautiful. Being, without beautiful. being too fussy. And lots of other great things I see right here. The fried green tomatoes, some hush puppies, some yeah. biscuits. Great southern cooking at Eliza Ann's Coastal Kitchen. And this is all part of the Waterline Marina and Resort on Holmes Beach in Anna Maria Island. So go out and check it out. It's a great place to spend a summer afternoon, that is for sure. Maria, great to have you with us. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here with us. Everybody enjoy the rest of your day and take some time and enjoy the Suncoast view. So we're in. Yep. Yep.